I'm finally back working on the HP 9845B vintage computer. It's been a while since I posted any videos on this. I've had a lot of other projects to get out of the way and the 9845 will be a very long term project so you're going to see videos on this for quite some time to come. There's quite a lot to do with this and I've got quite a few kind of side projects um, in line uh, that I want to get completed for this creating ROM module replacement drawers that sort of thing. But before I continue with this particular machine there's several repairs still to carry out on this machine yet. Um, I want to go through some um, repairs for some spare parts for this machine. They don't all belong to me but I've got quite a pile to work through and while we have the machine in this state now would be a good time to look into those and hopefully we'll make some interesting videos as well. So I'll just move the camera and we'll see what we're going to get started with. So what we're going to look at to begin with in the next few videos, I've got two taco boards that need repairing. These are not the boards out of this machine, as I say, these are um, off another machine and um, hopefully there'll be some interesting faults on these that we can look into and get sorted out. I also have not one, and not two or three but I've got four tape drives to repair as well and again these are not the drives out of my machine the two in my machine are still fitted to the machine and they've been working very reliably although I haven't posted any videos recently I have been doing quite a lot of work with the 9845 recovering data from various cassettes uh, and also carrying out some of the test work to write a few programs that might come in useful in the coming videos. But over the next few videos we'll work through these. I've also got some very interesting um, upgrades for my machine and some should be very interesting as videos in their own right. Uh, and also some additional parts that um, we'll look at and get repaired as well. Um, but what we're going to be looking at, as I say, for the next few videos is getting these four drives and the two taco boards sorted out. Now, so I don't risk damaging uh, my own machine by plugging in possibly faulty devices um, directly into, for example, the taco board. What I'm going to be doing is using one of these two taco boards and then using that to test the tape drives. So we might start off with faults in both, but we'll work our way through. One thing that's interesting with these uh, drives, firstly, one of them has, for the first time I've ever seen one, an intact capstan drive wheel. So it is getting sticky, so it will need to be changed. And also I'm going to modify all these to accept the DC2000 tapes. Um, but this will enable me to finally get an accurate measurement over the original size of these wheels. I've been getting them to be between 10.4 and 10.5 millimeters, but now we can actually measure one and see what it should be. It's not particularly critical because the feedback system in the taco board adjusts the motor speed to give the correct tape speed. So there is some, um, there's a bit of latitude either way and um, it doesn't matter if there's a, a small error in the size, but it would be nice to have it the correct size because that would guarantee we have the correct pressure on the tape drive wheel. Um, the other interesting thing with these is if we look on the back, we see we've got one of these style motors. If we look at one of the other ones, notice it's a different style motor. So these are completely different. The terminals are in different places. And if we look at one of the others, we have yet a different motor. So that's three different motor types on these and the other ones are the same as that. In fact I suspect these two are um, off the same machine. So the reason I believe that is if we spin it round we can see we've got a number one on this motor and on this one. Let's turn it over it's got a number two. So we've got a tape drive one and tape drive two. The styles are very similar. All the components are the same date stamp. Um, as I say, I'm assuming these two are a pair that came out of a single machine. 
The other thing that's a bit interesting, although all the components are the same, one thing that is different is the capstan drive wheel. Uh, they're different styles. One's one of the, um, the brown type and the other one's one of the black rubber type. Uh, so whether it's been changed or not, or whether it's had a repair in the past, not quite sure. Or it might just be variability in the um, manufacturing process. Uh, so the other thing I'll be doing with these is shortening the standoffs. As I mentioned in a previous video, um, I reduce these by one millimeter, and uh, that lowers the entire tape drive in the bracket, and that gives more clearance in the machine when you try and get a DC 2000 tape through the slot in the tape drive door because um, of course the DC 2000 tapes are a lot higher. Now both of the taco boards in my machine were faulty they had various faults that I went through so I'm fully expecting there to be a number of faults on these as well but the first step will be to take um, the drives, dismantle them, modify the drive wheel capstan and um, convert the drives for use with DC 2000 tapes. I'll also be fitting the small connectors I use for um, adding a resistor to change the, uh, the drive characteristics to suit the DC 2000 tape material. And so in the next video what we'll do is we'll hook up one of the taco boards and we'll start going through the tape drives. Um, I'll show one of the tapes uh, being dismantled, one of the tape drives being dismantled, show you how I do that. I won't do all four on camera unless I find something particularly interesting, but I'll go through the entire process on one of them. Um, and we'll do that in the next uh, video. And then we can move on to repairing the rest and uh, fixing any faults on the taco boards. And then as I was saying, I've got quite a few other um, spare components for the 9845 that we can look at and work our way through.